So, good afternoon, Chuck. Congratulations on being elected as chairman of study group 12. That's the, uh, the study group that looks at QoS. So, could you please explain, in terms that a non-engineer can understand, the importance of both QoS and the work of study group 12, and what you expect for the next few years? We can, of course, start by spelling out QoS, which means quality of service. Well, of course, it means quality of service, and Study Group 12 has the responsibility in the ITU for um, performance, quality of service, QoS, and QoE, quality of experience. And that means it takes into account everything from the terminals that people use through the networks, the services and applications, up to the complete end and experience that the user has. And this is true for everything from voice through video and multimedia as well. So Study Group 12 really covers uh, a lot of different things. Additionally, in the new study period, we will have a new mandate, uh, expanded mandate, to include um, the operational aspects of performance, quality of service, and quality of experience. And in doing this work, Study Group 12 does everything from getting experts together to work on very detailed, very complex technical algorithms on one hand, and on the other hand, we're looking at general guidance and handbooks and uh, things to help uh, developing countries, for example, do their network planning. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with the service I get from my, uh, my telephone, Chuck. What, 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 why is QoS important? It's important because it is the guarantee, in a sense, uh, not necessarily legally, but the guarantee that the, it's the expectation that you will get that good service. And uh, the important thing is that QoS, a, a, a good experience comes from QoS that is not an accident, but is well planned, well executed. And uh, again, this does not happen by chance because today technologies, as everybody knows, with uh, the, the variety of technologies that are out there, it's very complex. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. We try to keep it right. And is that especially important as we move into the so-called NGN era when we look at packet-based or IP-based uh, networks? It's all the more important because uh, we have uh, a very long time uh, in the public switch network, the traditional telephony world, of how to get quality, how to maintain it, how to provision it, um, how to specify it in, in great detail. Uh, that doesn't exist yet for the NGN. We're working on it. Um, the, N the ITU is uh, leading the effort on defining the objectives for quality in the NGN and eventually, you know, establishing how to get it. Okay, that's great. Uh, QoS clearly and QoE clearly have an important role to play in our next generation networks and our current networks. Uh, thanks very much for your time, Chuck. It's my pleasure. Thank you.